It's election day in France on Sunday and President Nicolas Sarkozy, who has been one of the key players during the Eurozone debt crisis, has a tough battle on his hands to be re-elected. Socialist Francois Hollande is his main rival and no doubt one of his campaign highlights was his announcement that he will introduce a 75% tax ban for the very wealthy. Market research company Opinionway have been monitoring what the French electorates are thinking and I'm joined by Bruno Jean-Bart from Paris. Bruno, it seems from your numbers that Mr Hollande Hollande and Sarkozy are neck and neck going into the first round on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's clear that now uh, there is a, um, a very close race between Sarkozy and Hollande, and the order of arrival on, on the first round is not really, uh, uh, really uh, easy to predict for Sunday. But uh, the thing that we can really uh, imagine for Sunday is that there will be the two qualified for the second round. I mean, in the past, we had some surprise with the polls. Uh, especially in 2002, where uh, Jean-Marie Le Pen, the far-right leader, uh, was not predicted as uh, qualified for the second run and who reached to do that. But it seems that the difference between both Sarkozy and Hollande and the other candidates on the race is now so high that it shouldn't be a surprise uh, for the two qualified on Sunday. But the second round of voting looks very different with Francois Hollande holding a clear lead over the president. Yes, it, it's the real strange thing in this election. There's a first round very, uh, uh, very uh, close from different candidates. Uh, there's also a lot of surprise wha which has uh, been uh, made and, 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 and seen during the, the campaign on the first round. But when you look at the second round, it has always been a, a major lead for Hollande between 8 and 14 points, uh, which is very high. Uh, and uh, it seems that uh, uh, if Sarkozy is not able on Sunday to uh, really uh, have a, a, an important advance on Hollande, three or four points at least, I guess, uh, it's going to be a very difficult second round for him and it should be a victory of Hollande at the end. So what does history tell us? Can President Sarkozy turn around the deficit between votes? Well, uh, the history tells us that uh, the first round is very important for the dynamic of the second round. And so uh, uh, it's clear that uh, for Sarkozy it's difficult for the moment because people on the second round are not voting for Hollande, they are voting against Sarkozy because uh, he's ruling the country, people are dissatisfied with the way he's ruling it and they want to change him uh, because of the economic crisis, because of the fact that they are not satisfying with, with their purchasing power and a lot of things. So now he has to gather voters from the center, from Bayrou on the second round, and from the far right with Marine Le Pen to win on the second round. And of course it's very difficult because they have different points of view on the French society, on the, the, the main issues, and it's easier for Hollande who has just to wait that Sarkozy is losing the election. What has been the perception of Mr Sarkozy's handling of the crisis in the Eurozone? Hasn't his role as a statesman helped him? Well, it, it's clear that he, he has a very uh, uh, good um, uh, rating on the on his uh, action on against crisis uh, in Europe. I mean, people think that uh, he's more able than Hollande to uh, uh, take difficult decisions. He's more able than Hollande to uh, uh, discuss with the other government and to uh, uh, to try to find European solutions to the crisis or to find uh, in the G20 uh, some solutions. But uh, the problem is that it's not the most important for the French now. The most important for them is to think that. Uh, uh, the, Sarkozy has failed on unemployment inside the country and, uh, and it's the most important issue and so we have to change it and to, f to test something different. What do we know about Francois Hollande's economic policies if he does become president? He is a socialist but many would say France's economy needs reforms and unions have too much power. So what would he do economically? Well, uh, what we know is his own history and it's coming from the centre-left. Uh, I mean, his uh, mentor uh, in politics was uh, Jacques Delors, the former European president of the Commission. Uh, so it's much. He's very European. He's uh, very on the centre left. He's not a. He's not a far left candidate. Uh, maybe in this campaign, he has taken some uh, position very on the left because uh, there was the rising of the far left candidate Mélenchon. But I'm not, I think that he will make a very. Uh, centrist uh, policy when he'll be uh, 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 when he, if, he, if he's elected and if he's ruling the country and uh, 
uh, also, I think also it will be a very European and will uh, follow the uh, traditional uh, policy of France, which uh, is to uh, try to uh, build Europe and to go f uh, far away on the uh, European uh, uh, integration. Well, thank you for joining me, Bruno. We'll continue to monitor the latest developments from the French election. But for now, goodbye.